what are the plans for taking White Barrio out on the uh, out on the track as far as the coming week? Tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll, be, we'll probably go and jog or gallop. I haven't decided yet. Most likely, jog, and then Wednesday, we'll gallop. Maybe school at the gate. Thursday, same thing, gallop. And then Friday, we'll gallop again. How'd you feel about his work? Uh, so you worked between races at Gulfstream? Yeah, he worked between races at Gulfstream. Um, thankfully, they let us do it because on Sunday, the track was sloppy again, so we, they would have kind of put us in a jam. Um, we got out working and thought he worked as good as a horse could work. Um, very happy with how that went. And he just he got here this morning. Hopefully, he has a good week now. So what, what were your thoughts on the Florida Derby? I mean, he didn't have the easiest of trips and uh, he prevailed. Yeah, the Florida Derby, um, he had to, we rode him as kind of the best horse, which we had to give up some ground. We were white on both turns, and we, we figured if he's good enough, he'll be able to overcome it. And thankfully, he was on that day. And, um, Thought it was uh, he ran he ran as good as you could you could want him to run. Um, needs to improve a bit to win the Derby, the Kentucky Derby, and there's all reason that he could improve. What was what gave you the confidence that you'd want to ride him as the best horse like that? And it's such a tough race. We, we um we, we, got, we kind of the trip we got at Churchill um in, in November we all talked it over and we said we don't want to have those excuses um, trips. You know what I mean? We want to know if he's legit or not. And we we and um and the Holy Bull we rode him that way. Roll it right in was the best. If he has to go a little faster earlier or give him some ground, keep him in the clear. And it worked then, I and mean, we didn't want to change it in Florida Derby. We want to know if we don't want to have excuses in that kind of way. So, so, um, so far, we, we've utilized his speed to get position from the gate, and it's, yeah. and it's worked out. And so for the Derby, do you see something similar or perhaps a little different with a longer race? Yeah, you would, you would, you would, you would want to try to be similar, but, I mean, in the Derby, it's, every, everyone's probably has the same thoughts, you know what I mean? So... <laughs> We want to, the, the post position is important. Um, today we'll find out where we draw, and you, you want you want to get away from there cleanly wherever you draw. You want to break well and um, be in a forward position if you can. Do you uh, look at your experience with New York traffic and take anything from that in terms of saying, okay, I want to do this again. I don't want to do that again. I mean, you just you kind of treat it, each horse is different. I mean, you just hope, hope the horse, as I said, you arrived today. You hope he has a good week, and you go into there. Uh, it's, it's, it's another race, but it's a big one. I mean, but it's not as far as training wise or doing anything different. No, you, you don't really do much different. And the thought process, uh, and you mentioned it before, but in terms of why you stayed in Florida and waited until Derby Week to come in. Yeah, because you stay, you stayed in his, in his in his home f uh, facility where he's more most comfortable, and when we ship horses, we've had a good success of shipping in as, as late as possible, and. Um, just as again, try, it's, a, it's a derby way trying to keep the same routine that w what's been successful for us. Could be a wet week, you're hearing? <laughs> yeah, I see that think? today. Like uh, yesterday looked like it was going to be good on Saturday, and today it changed again. So the weather, I just that's something out of our hands. We um, obviously you like a fast trap, but we can't control that, so we don't worry about that. Would you alter gallops in any way if the, if the tracks? Uh yeah, if it, if it was, if it was yeah. I mean, very sloppy, then you just probably want to jog in between or gallop lightly, but. Um, we'll see how it goes play it day to day. Have you talked over with Tyler any instructions for the race or anything like that? No, nothing yet. I don't want to put any added pressure on him. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he, he's ridden the horse twice now, so he basically knows the game plan and we'll leave it to him. I mean, there's not much more we can say now, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's um, the derby and we're going to stick to what's worked for us and hopefully it works again. What are your thoughts about the horse getting a mile and a quarter? I think you get a mile and a quarter again. Anything you don't, you never do in racing or just in general in life until you do it. You don't know for sure. Um, there's no reason I don't think you you, you, you wouldn't get a mile and a quarter. Um, he's gonna get it. Is he is he gonna get it fast enough? That's the key question. Uh, they're all gonna get it. Uh, is what speed he'll get it at. Uh, I, th I think it's well within his reach. And at the end of the Florida Derby, uh, you know, Charge it was kind of coming in at the end. Do you think uh, White Barrio was getting tired, perhaps, or? or how did you see that? I thought Charger got, like, at the eighth I thought Charger got within a position that if he was going to go by him, he was going to go by him. And he didn't go by him by the wire, and even in the gallop, he didn't go by him. Uh, so I don't, I don't think he was going to beat him on that day. Um, obviously, Charger had a tough trip to do his ball and all inside. He kind of got a trip that White Wire got in the jockey club. Uh, for a horse in his third start, he, he ran exceptional Charger. He's a good horse, and he has a good chance in the derby also. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.